as in God is staking your city for His glory. I'm Pastor William Holman of the New Testament Church in Merrill, Wisconsin. I want to talk to you about Channel Love Ministries with Joan and Marty Pierce. They really have a gift of evangelism to impart. You would do well as pastors to have Joan and Marty into your congregation to reach your city for Christ. You may contact Channel of Love Ministries International at Post Office Box 3007, Redding, California, 96099, or go to our website, www.joanpierce.org, or you may call us at 530-357-4711. In John 15, 16, it says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and ordained you or appointed you or anointed you, according to what version you have, that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, that I may give it to you. These things I command you, that you love one another. God's word says, I command you to love one another, and I command you to walk in the spirit. I command you to not lean on your own understanding, on your own knowledge. Let the Holy Spirit of God flow through you because you're connected to the Father and the Son, and you are the temple of the Holy Ghost, and God wants to work miracles through us on earth. Now, remember I said the title is, Yes, Lord? Sometimes when you're listening to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will have you do things that you really think in the natural or out there, cuckoo, out there. And I'm going to give you a story or two. I was preaching in Pennsylvania. This is before 911 when you could, the people could go into the airports with you. And the pastor and his wife took me to the airport. And they said, we'll sit with you until your plane comes and make sure you get on the plane fine. But I heard the Holy Spirit say to me, I have an assignment for you to do right now, Sister Joan. Oh, I didn't, the Holy Spirit didn't call me Sister Joan. Anyway, Joan, I have an assignment for you to do, Joan. And you need the pastor and his wife to leave. Well, now I, I don't know how to nicely tell a pastor and his wife to leave. I mean, you know, that's kind of a touchy situation. I've been just doing a revival in their church, and it's kind of touchy for me to ask them to leave when they've been so gracious to say they're going to sit here and wait till the plane comes. So I said, you know what? You two can go ahead and go. You brought me here from, from uh, wherever they in Virginia, uh, Danville, Virginia, to the airport. And I says, you know, I'm fine. Uh, the plane will be here pretty quick. You can go ahead and go. And they, they insisted they wouldn't. They said, oh, no, Sister Joan, we are going to stay with you till your plane comes. I went, oh, okay. So I'm like, Holy Spirit. I'm like talking to myself, Holy Spirit, they won't leave. So I hear the Holy Spirit again saying, Joan, I have an assignment for you to do now. Have them leave. Um, okay, I'll try this again. Really, pastors, really, really, I really need some time. I need to, I need to, I think I'll go powder my nose or something. I was trying to make any excuse. Oh, well, well, I'll just go with you. Oh, this ain't going to work. And so I realized this isn't working. And so I hear the Holy Spirit again. I have something for you to do. I said, well, honesty probably is the best policy. After all, I am a minister. Don't you think that's good? I said, you know what? I said, I just really need to have some time by myself. I really believe God wants to speak to me about something and do something. And so I really, really appreciate you bringing me to the airport. And I appreciate that you're willing to wait with me and go to the powder room with me. I said, but you know what? I really, I really need you to leave. And I, I don't want no hard feelings. No, no, no. God's got you doing something fine. God bless you, Sister Joan. We'll have you in next year. Then they left on their way. So now they're gone and the Holy Spirit, because now I've messed up the timing. How many of you know that when the Holy Spirit speaks to you, sometimes you can mess up the timing because you're like not obeying when you should obey? So all of a sudden, everybody's starting to get on the plane, and that's the plane I'm going to get on. And how many of you know they, they put the... They have certain numbers they have you go on, and then they have you go on and so forth. You know how it all works. And so anyway, all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit says to me, see that lady, the second one in line? Stop her now. And I'm like, oh, boy. Oh, boy. The lady's getting ready. To I mean, here's this line of about 13, 14 people, four, maybe 20 people getting ready to go on and handing their tickets to the 
stewardess there that's taking the tickets. And this lady's like about the second to go up or something like that. And I just break in the line and I stand in front of her and I've blocked the whole line. Now I've got this whole group of about 20 people and I've blocked the line and I've got my hands out like this. And the Holy Spirit says, hug her. <laughs> 